guys, I'm not sure what I'm going to title this video, but I'm coming to you guys to share with you some of the things that I'm using in my weight loss journey. This weight loss journey is not a New Year's resolution. This is something that I have been struggling with for about a year and a half or maybe a little bit more. I have put on 50 pounds and I know a lot of you guys have noticed in my videos, a lot of you were asking if I was pregnant and things of that nature. I wanted to film this video a long time ago but it was a bit of a struggle because I just wasn't comfortable with myself. I wasn't comfortable seeing myself in this uh, way. I used to do fashion hauls and then I stopped doing those because I just wasn't comfortable with my body but I've came to the realization that it's okay to be comfortable in your own skin while improving your body image to what you want it to be. Now, I know a lot of people are going to be like, oh, you look fine, you look great. People that know me are like, there's nothing wrong with you, but it's all in the way you see yourself and how you feel. And I know I put on the 50 pounds and that was very life-changing. 50 pounds on is like carrying a toddler on me. So it's been a bit of a strain on my back. It's been a bit of a strain trying to get around because I went from about 150, 160 to 200 pounds. So I was not used to ever seeing myself at 200 pounds. I was always athletic. So I don't know what happened. You know, I am getting of age and you know, your metabolism slows down and things of that nature. But 200 pounds is something that I am not comfortable with. So I am taking initiative to do something about it. And I just hope that this video will help to inspire some of you to feel comfortable in your skin regardless of what comments people have to say, how people make you feel. I just want you to feel comfortable in your skin while working on yourself to be the best version of yourself if that makes any sense. Some of the things that I am changing is not drinking soda. Like. I was doing so good in 2014. For the whole year of 2014, I did not drink any sodas. Um, and then, out of nowhere in 2015 to 2016, I started drinking a ton of sodas. And I noticed a lot of weight accumulating in my midsection from all the like sugary drinks and soda and all of that kind of stuff. In the last four months, I probably had one root beer soda and it was like a diet soda even though diet sodas and regular sodas I don't know it just seems like it's the same but there is a bit of a difference in the taste of the diet soda I am like hardcore drinking nothing but water water is like something you must drink if you want to lose weight lots of water to flush yourself out water is like so essential and excuse my nail like this broke like literally five days after i got a refill i hate when it happens but um anyways yes i started to drink tons and tons and tons of water and another thing that i use with my water is one of these infuser bottles and this is so cute because it's like one of my favorite colors and what this is is basically it has this little infuser or strainer I don't know what you want to call this but you put in here like lemons cucumbers um, strawberries whatever fruits or vegetables you want to infuse and you fill it up with water and you put this little net thingy back on top and then you kind of let it sit in the refrigerator for an hour or so until it gets nice and cold and you know you just want to give it time to infuse like if you want to do it overnight it probably will work a little bit more better but this one here is from make fit normally I just use water I slice up some lemons and I put it in here and that is what I use um, that is what I drink and I heard that lemons are really great for helping with bloating and it's it helps to burn belly fat so I've been drinking that for a while. These next things that I want to share with you guys are teas. Now these are from Matefit as well, the same company as this infuser bottle here. Now these items were sent to me. Um, this is not a paid review. These were sent to me to try out and I've been trying these out for the past few weeks and I absolutely love them. Now let me tell you guys something. Like tea is like my baby. Like a lot of people on YouTube and Instagram like promoting teas because teas are just so delicious. Like they come in all different kinds of flavors. This first one is the Metabolic Boost by Makefit. And it's just like a loose leaf tea. If I have a close up I will insert it into this 
clip but I'm almost done this I probably have about maybe two to three more cups and then I'll be done but um, Mayfit also send you 40 tea fillers and these are basically like little baggies and you put the loose leaf tea in here and you steep it into a hot cup of water and that's how you make your tea this tea here is supposed to boost your metabolism i am getting up there in age and we all know that when you get up there in age your metabolism slows down and you start to accumulate um fat in places you don't want to accumulate fat in i remember being like really athletic and small and i always used to pray to like gain weight and like people were trying to lose weight i was trying to gain weight and now I have the weight and now I don't want it. Like it's always like that. We always want what we don't have. Basically this is supposed to help boost your energy and I did notice a huge boost in energy. This is like great for pre-workout. It's sweetened with stevia and made with real hand selected ingredients. You can add like a bit of lemon, a bit of honey if you need taste to it. I don't know if I mentioned but this one you're supposed to take 15 minutes before breakfast. That way when you have your breakfast it'll help it burn off. So again this is great for pre-workout next one that they sent me was the mate fit detox tea and a lot of you i know you've been hearing a lot about detox teas and what they do and how you know they're supposed to cleanse out your system cleanse your body of all the toxins and everything like that which is definitely true this one here you drink uh every other night after dinner and yes <laughs> detox is like the perfect word because it will have you going to the bathroom I think that's probably why it's best to take this at night but that's the directions anyway to take it at night but it's basically a loose leaf tea and you can put that in the fillers that are provided and it's gluten free it's supposed to cleanse and to help with bloating which I have a lot of it has dandelion root and it's made with real hand selected ingredients it's a 100% natural dietary supplement and you get 35 grams in each of these all natural so I'm all for it this one I like the taste more better than the metabolic boost because this one has like a minty kind of flavor to it and I really like that it's really soothing at night I absolutely love this tea so these are a must the next essential for weight loss is definitely going to be a blender um, this is the blender that I have which is the ninja and if you've been following me for a while I did show you guys how I make my smoothie in the morning this ninja blender works so well I believe I ordered this from Amazon it was around a hundred dollars I believe maybe a little less I'm not sure maybe I got it on a sale but this works so well as long as I have fruit I'm making me smoothies in the morning like no doubt about it fruit and vegetables I like to blend in carrots spinach kale um, and then I just use all kinds of different fruits like strawberries raspberries blueberries bananas peaches pineapples like I just love smoothies I'm obsessed with smoothies so you definitely need a blender if you're going to be going on a weight loss another thing that I add in my smoothies is this miracle in the green Oringa original blend this is a protein powder this is supposed to give you energy nutrition protein lean muscles and th and this is for health first when I tried it I did not like the taste it's uh, really green <laughs> let me show you guys like it comes with like a little spoon and everything you're supposed to put like one spoon inside of your smoothie this is going to add extra nutrition to your smoothies it has seven times vitamin C of oranges two times protein of yogurt four times calcium of milk four times vitamin A of carrots and three times potassium of bananas three times vitamin B of kale it has 90 nutrition and 46 antioxidants this is just going to give your smoothies a boost of nutrition I've been adding a spoonful of this in the afternoon smoothies so love I've been using this Veluxio sports waist trimmer belt um I ordered this from Amazon and if I can find a link I will leave the link down below I'm going to actually link all of these products down below if you guys are interested but basically this waist trimmer belt has velcro so it like wraps around any size belly waist or anything like that and it helps you to burn more fat in that midsection. It helps you to get rid of excess water weight. I'll put this on when I get on a treadmill 
and when I take this off I kid you not my body like my midsection is like completely sweaty I do feel like this helps with your posture and I feel like this helps um, tone your stomach like if you're running on a treadmill uh, speed walking by the time you get off you can see a little bit more definition in your stomach so this is definitely a must when I work out my next essential is uh, this yoga mat <laughs> Like, my cat scratched this up so bad. Definitely need a yoga mat because I work out at home and I don't have any carpeting in here. So, it's definitely essential for me to have a yoga mat so I can get down on the floor and do floor exercises and things like that. Also, my next essential. Let me back on up because I might need to back on up for this. Sorry. Um, this next thingy here I know you can't see the whole thing in the screen but this here is a ab rocker and I purchased this from Walmart I believe it was like $20 um and I purchased this ab rocker because I cannot do a crunch to save my life literally I cannot do a crunch I don't know if it's because my stomach is big I don't know but like this makes it so easier and I'll show you guys how I use this ab rocker so I'll put a, like a little clip in here so you can see how it works. But it, it really helps you to rock up. It gives you like that kind of uh, momentum to get it going. And it really works. But yeah, I can feel it burning and things like that. So I know it's working. So yeah, that is definitely essential. So eating a lot of fruits and vegetables as I mentioned. Just on a regular, like I'll cut up some celery, some cucumbers and tomatoes. And I'll just eat those. Really though, maybe dip it in a little bit of Caesar, like a creamy Caesar dressing, um, and that'll be my snack. So instead of like eating chips, which I still eat chips and dip, and I still eat like um, a little bit of honey buns and things like that, or donuts, um, I can't help it. Um, I'm one of those people that feel like you don't have to deprive yourself of, of stuff. I'm one of those people that just feel like you can just minimize what you eat. It's not what you eat, it's how much of it you eat. I'm like a vegetable person anyway. I love vegetables. Some people naturally are not vegetable eaters. And if you don't like vegetables, make put your vegetables in your smoothies. Like blend up some carrots, blend up some kale, blend up some spinach, and throw some pineapples. Anything that's going to make it sweet so it can just take away from that vegetable taste. And that's how you'll get your vegetables in. Also, I use one of these resistant ropes that I purchased from, I think I got this from Ross. This definitely helps with um, stretching. Whew, I'm out of breath. I had to go find this thing. I forgot all about it. But this definitely helps me with stretching and toning my muscles. So, yeah, I love this little uh, ropey thingy. And I didn't pay nothing pretty much for this. This is probably like $5 or something like that. And it, like, this is really good quality. Like, it's a lot of resistance. Like, you can use this to build muscles in your arms and your legs. And all of that kind of My stuff. My next essential, I'm probably going to have to stand up to show you guys this next one. And it's going to be my treadmill, my baby. Yes, I work out at home because I don't feel like asking nobody, let me use the machine or are you done with that? Like, I don't have time for that. I just want to get up and work out and just go about my day. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and stand up and show you guys this treadmill. My treadmill is by Confidence. I'm just going to go ahead and let this down so you guys can see what it looks like. But it's pink, of course, because pink is my favorite color. It folds up pretty much. And then this part right here folds down. Um, trying to make sure I don't hit anything. Um, and this is basically what the treadmill looks like. It comes with like a power cord. This little uh, red string here is the safety mechanism. Like if this pops off, then the machine will cut off. That way you don't hurt yourself. And also it has like the power button here. And then it has like three different programs on here. It has program one, two, and three. Program one, that one is manual. So you can adjust your speeds. Program two and program three are hit program. High intensity interval training. So those ones go up and down by itself. So it's automatic. So you got to be on your A game for that because it'll go from 
five speed to like 4.5 like and then it'll go back down to 2.5 and go back up to like 3.5 like the whole purpose is to get your heart heart rate going to speed your heart rate up and then slow it down speed it up and that's a quick way to lose weight so um if you guys want a workout routine video just let me know because I am all about that life. So the treadmill I just showed you guys is by the brand Confidence and it was purchased on eBay I believe for 200 bucks. It was a gift and I absolutely love my treadmill. It works amazing. It has three programs on it. It really gets you sweat. Next essential is my scale. This scale was purchased from Walmart, I cannot remember the price. It was around $15 to $20. It's by the brand Taylor. I just try not to obsess about the weight loss because I know that I'm going to lose the weight and I don't want to stress myself out because stress leads to more weight gain and we definitely don't want that if we're trying to lose weight. So definitely get a scale, weigh yourself in maybe like every two weeks to once a month. I, like I said, I just don't obsess over it because it's not healthy to obsess about stuff like that. So my last and final thing that I need is definitely music. Music will help me get through a workout. Sometimes I wake up and I just don't feel motivated, but then I put on some Pandora. Like I'll play, I'll play maybe some Future. See, it's on Future Radio now. Yeah, I play like some music, something to get me amped up, something fast, something that's motivating and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, definitely have some music, iPod, if you have your laptop and, and you have iTunes or something like that. Just put on some music. I don't really look at pictures to motivate me to help me lose weight. I just kind of look at myself in the mirror and um, I'll just continue to work out until I see the image that I want to see. And of course, it's not going to be anything unhealthy. If I can get down to 160, 170, I will be content with that. Just want to be healthy, fit, trimmed, and snatched at the waist, hunty, okay? So definitely um, stay tuned to keep up with my journey. I will be recording a morning fitness routine, and I guess that'll be like the start of my healthy weight loss journey. And you guys are more than welcome to join me on this journey if you are in the same boat with me, trying to lose some weight, trying to get that waist snatched. You are more than welcome to join me. I am not a professional, but I will show you guys some of the things that I do. And I'll give you updates in between so you can see my progress. And it'll be motivation or inspiration to a lot of you guys who are 200 pounds or more. Or just not at the weight you want to be and you want to lose weight. It'll be some motivation for you all. Also, I did list a lot of my clothes on my Poshmark account, Chic Boutique. I'll link that down below in the description box. I only have a few things on my Poshmark account right now, but I will be adding tons and tons of more clothes because like I mentioned, I had gained a lot of weight and I can no longer fit the clothes. So I just want to have some clothes that I can actually fit as opposed to just having so many clothes around and I'm just looking at them and they're size small and medium and I cannot even like fit them at all. I will be listing so much stuff on my Poshmark account. I have a lot of polo stuff. Um, I have a few pieces from Fashion Nova, Boohoo. Yeah, just follow me on my Poshmark at Chic Boutique and you'll be able to see when I post new listings because I have a whole bunch of polo stuff. I know a lot of you guys would love that. And a lot of the stuff in my store is only $25 and under with the exception of maybe two or three items. So, yes, like it's super duper affordable. If you are looking, if you like thrifting, you definitely will enjoy some of the items that I have because the prices are going to be lit, okay? So, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.